Hello everyone. Uh, so the aim of this video is to give a fairly quick run through of some of the main anatomical landmarks within the brain. Uh, and today I've chosen MRI because the anatomy can be seen much more clearly and much more elegantly. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here at the vertex and might work my way down towards the skull base. Uh, and I just want to point out, obviously this isn't a comprehensive anatomical tutorial, so if there are things which I'm skipping through or I'm not covering, uh, let me know and I don't mind making a second video. So immediately at the vertex we can see the signal voids. Uh, and when you see signal voids, often it's because of a vessel. So in this case we've got cortical veins and we've got the superior sagittal sinus. And as we come down, we can see superior sagittal sinus coming down here and eventually it will become continuous with the confluence of the sinuses uh, more inferiorly. Um, and a good place to stop will be here. So here we have the central sulcus and what that does is separates the frontal lobe anteriorly from the parietal lobe posteriorly. Uh, and it's easier to see on the right here than on the left. That's often the case. Um, but there are a number of ways to identify the central sulcus because sometimes it's not that easy. You look for this reverse omega sign, um, but there are other ways. So sometimes this structure here, which is known as the pars marginalis, um, points towards the central sulcus and there are other ways in different planes. Uh, obviously I'm just going through the axials here. And we come further down to the level of the lateral ventricles. So at this level you have the deep white matter uh, which is known as the corona radiata and if you go more dorsal to that you see the centrum semiovale and then if we go back down to the level of the corona radiata and then come further down you'll see that it becomes continuous with the internal capsule. So this slice here is packed with anatomical knowledge. So as I mentioned, we have the lateral ventricles here. These are, the, actually, these are actually the anterior horns of the lateral ventricles. You have the chordate nucleus on both sides sitting here. And then as I've mentioned, we have internal capsule. We have this structure, which kind of looks like the blade you'd find on a scythe, and that's uh, the lentiform nucleus. Medially we have the globus pallidus and then more laterally we have the putamen. Together it's the lentiform nucleus on both sides. And then we have the external capsule here, more laterally. And here we can see a fissure. This is called the sylvian fissure. And what it does is it separates the temporal uh, lobe inferiorly from the frontal and the parietal lobes superiorly. And medial to the sylvian fissure here we have the insular cortex and the insular cortex is considered uh, to be its own ent entity in lobar anatomy. The lateral ventricles uh, via the foramina of Monroe form the third ventricle and then as we come down you end up with the fourth ventricle here via the cerebral aqueduct. Um, so just coming back up. So we'll look at the brain stem. This Mickey Mouse shaped structure here is the midbrain and what constitute the ears are the cerebral peduncles and they via the thalami, which I forgot to mention before in this slice, which are here, via the thalami they connect the midbrain to the cerebrum. And at this level you can see the confluence of the sinuses. So before, if you remember, I mentioned the superior sagittal sinus which is seen coming down, running down here, and it, by way of the internal cerebral veins and the straight sinus, forms a confluence of the sinuses. and that goes on to form the transverse sinuses on both sides. You can see them heading out laterally here and the sigmoid sinus and eventually it forms the internal jugular vein. So 
The midbrain is attached to the pons, and the pons can be identified because of this structure which lies anteriorly to it, which is the basilar artery. And as I mentioned before, the reason I chose MRI was because it really elegantly demonstrates anatomy. So we can see these fibres coming anteriorly off the pons, which are the trigeminal nerves. And they are on their way to these fluid filled structures, which are, which are Meckel's cave. And if we go slightly more inferiorly, we can see more fibers coming laterally. So we have the seventh and eighth nerves on their way to the internal auditory meatus. Coming down further still, we have the medulla oblongata, which is continuous with the spinal cord. Okay, we've briefly touched upon the venous sinus anatomy, uh, and now we'll go through some arterial anatomy. What we see here are the vertebral arteries coming up. And just before they form the basilar artery, you can see they give off pica, posterior inferior cerebellar artery, and then they form the basilar artery. And Coming off the basilar artery is the ICA, A-I-C-A, anterior inferior cerebellar artery. It's quite a thready artery, so you don't always see it, and certainly less conspicuous than the pica. And then as we come further up, there's this, you can just about appreciate the superior cerebellar artery coming off the basilar, especially on the right side, before it gives off the chunky posterior cerebellar artery bilaterally. And if we go back down to the skull base, you can see the internal carotid bilaterally with the jug internal jugular vein behind it. So internal carotid comes up through the carotid canal and gives off middle cerebral artery here, coming through here, and anterior cerebral artery here. And just finally, we'll go through the orbits. So here we have the right orbit and left orbit. You can see if we come superiorly, we have the superior rectus on both sides. Coming down, we see the optic nerve and the lateral and medial rectus. And the inferior rectus here. Okay, so I think that just about covers it. Uh, I think the base of skull coming through to the neck deserves probably its own video. So let me know if you'd like, to, uh, like me to cover that or indeed anything else. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching.